hello guys welcome to scott tech discovery your favorite guy that drops videos on fresh cryptocurrency and how to make money online so if you find that this thing concern you please do me a favor by smashing the subscribe button and if you enjoyed this video, just smash the like button so in this video guys let's dive in into the business so right here as you can see this map method channel five we're going to be showing you guys especially to be precise the new guys in the forex or in the in, in the forex space sorry how to be placing trade so if you already know this then this video is not actually for you but because i get i got so many requests for my for my you know uh for my channel people who subscribe to my channel i give them free signals so they, like the new guys they all often tell me they don't know how to use my signals to play straight so i want to quickly explain something to you all uh, if even if you're old guy you need to stay watch this video i believe you may learn something with you just so if you find this video interesting please do me a favor by smashing that like button it helps youtube to recommend videos to other people who need it yeah so let's let's get started in this metal channel 5 we're going to be showing you guys in metal channel 5 and 4 right because there are actually two platforms to cut the story short as you can see guys if i want to play straight all i got to do is just to click on my on my phone screen right here and once i click any part of it i'm going to see trade indicators of this so we're not concerned of indicators or whatever because you're not actually doing the analysis yourself or you don't have your edge you just trade signal so what concerns you is actually this trade you see here so if i click this trade i'm going to see at this point right here there's what we call market execution right so if i click market execution you're going to see more of other things like buy limit sell limit buy stop sell stop buy stop limit sell stop limit so actually i'm not going to explain all this right here but in most cases if they give you signals to trade you we often use a sell limit and buy limit yeah we often use sell limit and buy limit that's if the the, the, the the person who sent the signal tell you to, informs you to sell all you got this to press sell limit then all you're gonna see numbers here these numbers are very 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 important in terms of risk management this is actually what we call the lot size as you can see this is what we call the lot size we have the standard lot size the mini lot size we have the micro lot size as as you can see right here if what it means is that if i'm going to use 0 0.1 0 0.1 right here is the minimum lot size have other videos where i talked about lot size i'm not going to explain about all these videos but i'm going to show you i'm just going to show you what are the use of this lot size and how they affect your account right here in this video so example i want to buy uh buy at 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 this price let's say the current price you can see their price is right here we have the big price and the ax price right the ax price is always the higher price as you can see this is the ax price right here so if i'm if i want to sell right now i'm going to use the bid price right so as you can see this 665 i put 66 meaning i want to sell 66 one okay four now change i press set okay bad stops let's say i i, I use 66 one right bad stop again zero okay let me show, show you quickly instant market execution now this instant market execution meaning you are buying the market price right if you are buying the market price mean once i click this sale uh, right here where i click buy it will buy at this price if i click if sorry if i click sell if it, it the buyer will sell for me at this price right so if if i'm clicking buy the seller will sell for me at this price so people buy low to say i right that's why the axe price is always i you buy from the axe price so i already talked about videos i'm going to drop them below the description of this just where i explain all those things like i said so i'm going to show you the use of this 0 0.01 loss size so if i click say right here it's buying instant price the current price now, as you can see i just i just i just put by what's it called sell and this is the sell right here so what it means i'm actually currently using a demo account to describe this for you guys so you don't get get it twisted right as you can see this is 0 0.01 0 0.01 it means that for every peep that moves i'm going to make one one canadian canadian dollars per peep you understand what this i i'm not going to explain all these things but 
i like i said i did video so if you want to understand these things more you're gonna understand like what it means is that if i'm using dollar as you can see the currency i'm buy, I'm, buy, I'm selling from is aud meaning australian dollars canadian do canadian dollars right so what it means is that if i'm selling for every every peep movement i make i'm going to have 10 canadian cents you understand for every peep right now i'm running two 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 peeps as this right now against me right that's what you're seeing 0 0.2 it means that I'm, i have to, this right now is, is one peep against me this is the try no it's almost coming to my to my to my to my direction you understand what i'm saying so anytime you see minus 0 0.1 it means that you are the market is running against you with just a peep movement that's when if you have 0 0.0 one i don't know if you understand what i'm saying zero point zero is the least loss size and usually what i recommend like if you have a hundred dollars account fifty dollars account you have five hundred dollars account i do not recommend you using zero point one i recommend you zero point zero one because trading is about compounding right and risk reward ratio so if i sell for instance now again i'm going to say at eastern market execution but but right here let me show you guys i want to say instant market execution this is 0 0.1 then i say again if you take note this is two different things as you can see right here these two different things right we have this place we have this place here we have 0 0.01 this place we have 0 0.1 can you see how the figure is, is moving this one is way bigger you see so what this one means right here is that this one is running literally one one peep maybe oh, more than two peeps because i'm using canadian dollar so what this thing what this thing does is that the my the 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 system converts this automatically to my to my account so the reason why i'm explaining these things for new buy is because it's not just about placing trade you have to know what loss size to use otherwise you can blow your account imagine somebody having a hundred dollars and they, they sent a signal it decides to go and use a, a lot size of maybe one standard lot size for instance you can see i'll show you i'll show you the differences all of it now i'm selling at one you can see this one is just one this one is zero point let me show you this one is zero point one this one is zero, zero point zero one this one is zero point one this one is one can you see the differences on how price is moving so what it means that the kind of loss size is used the kind of money you can make but if the trade goes against you the the is the kind the way you can lose the money as well so what it means that if you have bigger account that's when you can risk big use with big lot size just small movement you make is you make more money with small movement but if you have fifty dollars hundred dollars two hundred dollars i don't advise you to be using this one lot size yeah you want to blow your money in just few pips in 10 in just 10 movements you can lose just hundred dollars in 20 you've lost your 200 dollars and that can happen in the blink of eyes in forex and you can as well make it so there you see that's why we call what there's what we call risk management which i would you would need if you let me know if if you want i can explain more of what risk management is all about and how you you in my subsequent videos right so i just want to show you this how you literally place trade using instant market execution so the difference between instant market execution and and buy limit and selling is that that instant market execution it buys instantly for you but the buy limit and sell limit is that you place an order to say okay once price get to this place trigger the order you tell the broker to trigger the order so that your trade will start playing you understand so these things have the advantages and disadvantages so if you are very sure that if price come back at this social time this is your place if you start going your way you can say maybe you want to buy or you want to sell you buy your analysis you've seen that if you enter the market right now the risk exposure will be too much for you maybe by picture you have to put your stop loss professional traders know where to put their stop loss right you don't just enter the market anywhere and put stop loss anywhere do you understand so let me quickly show you instant market execution when you when you click your screen you you see when you come to the chart you can come i'm going i'm going to use xausd right now no i'm going to use gbp usd 
okay let's see usd no let me use something the code currency is in gbp usd for instance let's say i want to trade gbp let me open the chart first when i click gbp usd it's going to show me chart i can put to the chart or i click trade direct so i'm going to open the chart sorry this one is an example i'm just showing you guys right so this is the chart right here as you can see this is the four hour time frame i love to trade the four hour time frame like to analyze from the four hour time frame so if i click trade right here as you can see now we have market market execution that's system market execution which i've already explained now i'm going to show you buy buy limit this is for instance the market is actually selling let's say i want to i want to put i want to sell. i put sell limit now i have to consider my loss size you know so what it means is that this one loss size if you use it and the market moves in your favor against you it means you can make ten dollar ten dollars per movement there so if they go against you in one movement but in per peep you're gonna lose ten dollars as well so it means it means that if i use two year for every movement i i get twenty dollars if i use three for every movement i get thirty dollars that's crazy if it goes against you as well for every movement you lose thirty dollars so it's really high this this lot size is actually for people one standard lot is actually for people who who have maybe from a hundred thousand account our advice to be using such such uh one lot size or maybe if you have a um, seven thousand ten thousand dollars account half world that's when i can advise you can decide to even think of using one lot size but if you don't have that it's it's crazy it's not trading it's it's gambling because trading is about compounding and skill you understand so trading is not gambling it involves you understanding the whole thing and it's a thorough skill with a little bit of risking some amount of money to get some based on your skills right so 0 0.01 is actually for me personally if you have one thousand dollars below i can advise you 0 0.01 maybe if you have one thousand dollars you can decide to use 0 0.01 right but even that that is still not really okay you have to manage it very well you have to understand only when you understand risk management you understand what i'm saying so but actually like i said we are just talking about placing trade so you buy it you have to you have to know some things before you even think of starting trading trading signals that's why so many new buy they lose their money because they don't understand these basic things right so if i say okay now i i want to i want to i want to sell and this this is the price to sell but i want to put the price above right let's say i want to sell from from when the price reach seven seven nine let's say let's see what where the market is currently two six seven six right so i can decide to say okay i want to place my my sell order right expecting if the market comes down this seven eight seven seven right i place my sell my sell limit as you can see this is my sell limit this is my sell this is where i place my sell limit what it means that if market gets to this point the market will trigger this point as you can see this point here the market gets to this point i'll give you an example of what it was what, what selling it will not it will not say instantly you see as you can see this is place order let me cancel all this trade so that this actually a demo account i'm practicing you know to shoot to explain for you guys what i mean so as you can see gbp usd sell limit right here right i place the order i can actually cancel this order if i wish delete the order it will not trigger i can leave the order as long as i want right so anytime any day price gets to this place right the the order will just trigger in empty file i can still move move it to to restructure the order maybe if i want the price to be here again right anytime anytime price comes to this place the order will trigger so i modify so this is way easy in mt5 do mt mt4 don't don't do like that right as you can see so anytime this this step these two lines you are seeing these small lines right here that you are seeing 
there's what that's what we call the ask price and the bid price if you go to lower time frame that's when you see it very well can you see guys so this is the the green line and the red line so the red line is the ask price i already explained all this in previous video make sure you check out all my videos uh, i'm going to drop the links below the description of this video can you see so anytime price reach this place these two lines the green the, the green line passes this 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 red line here above it's going to trigger the order so if the if i maybe from the analysis i say the price when price reach this place it's going to start consolidating dropping so i can put my stop loss maybe somewhere somewhere around this place at the top right and eventually it goes my way then find the trade as as played out right so this actually you actually you place uh how was it called uh, limit limit order right limit order so buy limit is the same thing that's if you want to buy let's say i want to buy for this usd jpy for instance i'm going to show you an example i can just go and say click this click this site i click i see buy limit order buy stop i buy limit so i can just say okay because i'm buying i'm buying at the axe price which is the is is one this is the current price of axe price right now i can say okay i'm buying at 06 0 0.8 let's say 0 0.8 for instance once price get there it will trigger right it's going below me let's say nine eight so this is the buy limit right here as you can see this buy limit just triggered because price was very close at where I, I i put it right so i'm going to show you another example so that you see very you see very well for yourself Zero forty six point zero nine. let me use it let me zero zero six for instance right so sorry 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 for that noise so guys as you guys can see right here i've placed the limit so as you can see this one is about to trigger right so when you see this green light means price is coming close to that place whether it's stop loss you put there once anything is about to trigger your stop loss your take profit your order buy limit sell limit buy stop whatever you start seeing green something there it means price is approaching that place so if i want to show you i go to lower time frame you can see that price is very close as you can see these two price is very close to approaching this this side as you can see see you see right there once that red line touches that 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 the, the blue line at the top you see it has touched it price price will trigger most likely price has triggered let's check most likely you see what i told you guys the price now has triggered can you can you see here now so it means that once that price pass start passing it i start making profit in those in those in those trade so that's what we call to enter the market uh, like form of a sniper entry you know okay once price gets here price start moving moving from that place you understand price can start booming in such a way that it's, it's not coming not going to come down right so that's how you get sniper entries like that maybe after finding your signals and all that so this trade is actually a demo trade which i'm just showing you guys all that you need so as you can see i use 0 .0, 0 0.01 right so we, the money looks small but actually it depends on your account size forex is not get rich rich quick scheme it's about compounding after a rigorous analysis and that's only if you know the game so if somebody sent you signal you don't know the person's strategy you don't know so you have to be very very wise with your hard hand money you have to use a very my minimum lot size and target the the know, know the risk to reward ratio and leave the trade to run right and trust one person you take signal from so this is the advice i give to new buy so you want to know more about forex make sure you subscribe to this channel and join my telegram group for, for free streak for free free stick signals yeah so okay i just explained what buy limit and sell limit is so that it is. so usually most of the the trades the signals people trade are usually buy limit and sell limit so sometimes people trade buy stops but i'm not going to explain 
explaining all those ones right now because of the time i don't want this video to get long but nevertheless if you still want to know you can reach out to me personally via my instagram for for you know one-on-one -on -one discussion i'll take my time and explain things to you so thank you so much for watching do me a favor to let me know what you think about the video and also comment subscribe god bless you guys